Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Thunder and Lightning podcast. I'm Thunder. I'm Lightning. And I'm Unsoon. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Those uh, are the people in this room. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's been a long day, guys. Uh, no, it has, it has been. been. Chris. That's me. How was your week? Tell oh, me man. all about it. Okay, so, uh, uh very eventful. Okay. Very eventful. Um, we're three weeks out from the wedding. Yes. Three weeks out, <laughs> which is super exciting. Very stressful. Yeah. We, the construction has started on, on our in-law, where, where the framework is up. We've got, uh, we've got things looking good. Um, we've maximized the space. We've got as much room as we can. Um, I pretended to to sit on the toilet a bunch in the bathroom room. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. I was like, and this is where the toilet goes. And then I sat like I was sitting on the toilet. <laughs> oh, uh, I see. Uh, that's been cool but stressful. School's in the heat of it. Um, but it, but it's going well, I think. I think I'm doing really well. I, I say I think I am doing well. I should, but like, uh, let's, let's hope it stays that way. Yeah. Um, is that, um... I don't remember how school works. That that's got to be coming to a close, right? Soon, or are you taking summer classes? Uh, yeah. So I, it's gonna end the week of the wedding. Oh, okay. That's yeah. not stressful enough. No, <laughs> that's not stressful at all. No. There's something in your eye, maybe, man. You wanna? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Adult Grogu. <laughs> oh. Um. This week, though, specifically, um, like, that's the stuff happening in general. They're all happening this week. Concurrently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wrote, a, wrote some new songs for the band. That's going really well. The band itself is going really well. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, really hey. Really having a lot of fun. Uh, Asuria, welcome on in. Hello, Asuria. Hey. They say, man, how is school and wedding prep at the same time? Don't forget the construction. Because <laughs> that's been a pain in the ass, too. Really? Uh, Even for you? Oh, yeah. Well, we went down there day one. Actually, I might as well tell this story. This is what we're here for. Yeah, sure. They laid out the framework of where all the rooms are going to be and stuff. Okay. That's and helpful. where our bed was supposed to be, yes. we had three feet of clearance width-wise. Oh, okay. This bed is, is bigger than three feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were like, guys, the fuck is this? <laughs> You know we gotta two this is where we're gonna live, right? Yeah. And like and like we gotta use every hill. I, that's nothing to me. Right. That's nothing. You can barely fit a toilet in this space. What what what's going on? Um So what was the fix? Well the project man so this is just literally pieces of steel bolted to the ground. Okay. So we called the project manager, we were like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we we told you we needed to put a bed here. Yeah. Uh and he was like, I, I, uh I'll call the guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we were like, all right. Then we didn't hear from him. And then the next morning he was like, listen, I'm coming down. We're, we're going to figure it out. Oh, okay. And we were like, all right. So he shows up. And we were like, listen, just put them all here. And it, we literally made ourselves eight feet of, of clearance where that three feet were. We were like, just put the bathroom up. Because the way the bathroom went, it was like this way instead of this way. Okay. We were like, just put the bathroom up against the wall. Have the closet here. And we've got like all this fucking room. And he was like. <laughs> he just like, like ripped up the pieces, put them where they oh, were nice. supposed to go, and good. he was like, "Yeah, that looks good." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, it does look good." So you li- okay? So you literally did solve this problem? Well, my dad did. I should give all the credit. Oh, to my okay, dad, okay. Because he is the he is the one who who solved the problem. He was like, "Just fucking put the bathroom the opposite way you have it." Um, and so that, so yeah, yeah, construction also <laughs> has fucking sucked. <laughs> um, and literally the, this issue, this three foot space issue, which we signed off on, on a legal document somehow, <laughs> um, uh, we already put in like two thirds of the money that we owe them for it. And, and we go downstairs and we're like, <laughs> this, this isn't going to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, he was really good about it, and and he fixed it immediately. And now the room is set up the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully, there's gonna be problems. If one thing I've learned about the construction, which has been going on for like a month and a half at this point, we we're just finally getting to our room. We had to make a whole other room. You know that whole right? Process. Yeah. The, so did the listeners. 
So do the listeners. That's right. You know that we I, opened I a hole in the wall with the dirt and all that shit. I think I literally uh, titled the episode "Lightning Finds More House <laughs> Under His House." Finds more house yeah. under his house. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, I try to. I try to. I try to make the podcast title the most interesting story that no, happened. I love but I also it. Yeah. try to flip flip flop like if it's about you or me or Paul yeah. told the story. So I love what you've been doing with the titles oh, okay, on YouTube. Cool, I think you. it's great. Um. But uh, so that's been a fucking bitch. <laughs> I, I'm just tired. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, but but uh, so yeah, the band's going well. Pauline is going well. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. Um, the, that wedding's probably still gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you probably? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> Those are the two things holding me together <laughs> <laughs> right now. Um, every plus, plus oh, and this channel. I'm loving this. Cha- we haven't <laughs> been able to do a lot of stuff lately, but uh, right, right. But you know, yeah, I, there's, this there's channel, the band, and Pauline are the three pillars that are keeping me from just just jumping out that window. Plus, you made some money today. Well, yeah, we did, I was just yeah, talk yeah. about that. I don't want to talk in depth because we're making a video about it. But yeah, we sold a bunch of Pokemon cards today. We sold a bunch and I of was video there this game time stuff. Too. And you were there this time. And you were there. <laughs> and Scarecrow was there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like the the uh, and then the obvious Wizard of Oz reference, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was a lot of fun. I you know we brought it up. Um, it's also why we were late to stream because we went all over goddamn Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I did, so with the money that we got, I got this cute little thing. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. do it. And I do want to, oh, we forgot to open it on the video, so this will probably go in the video for that. This is a, a grab box for Mario. I said, listen, I'm giving you so much shit, give me this. And they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, it would appear as though it's a little, like, Collect gold, all six cup tins. Like a little gold cup. Yeah. Uh, like a, a from Mario tin. Kart. Can- candy. Oh, a candy tin. Oh, I hope not. They're, they're usually candy tins. If it says tin, it probably... Yeah. Shake I'm it. hoping for a little toy toy trophy. Open it! Well, I think it's going to be both. I think it's going to be a toy trophy that opens and reveals gross-tasting candy. What do we think it is? I'm hoping for the star. I don't know if those symbols are actually it, but Assuming my, they are. My, uh, I, I want to put my money in for a uh, fire flower. I was going to do okay, the same fire. for you. So we got two fire flower, we got a star. Just make sure if that is how it is going to... Yeah. Okay. It is a tin. Ooh, we were all wrong. I've actually opened one of these before. Okay. It is the mushroom. Oh, nice. Oh, it's not. Okay. That's not what I thought. Yeah, I thought I you were getting a little. I thought you were getting a little trophy. So did I. And, you know, they bamboozled me twice. Because I think the first time I thought that as well. Do you want to know what it is? It's the, it's the symbol that you click on. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on, the, on the menu screen. On the trophy. On the um, Grand Prix. Well, this the box itself is like the item. Right. Block. No, I mean, look at the tin. It's the look at the tin. It's the oh, symbol it's the trophy. that you click yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like as close to a trophy as they they were yeah. willing to make it. Okay, I um, see. I'm I'm down for that. So now you have two of those. I do have two of those. What's Are the they? other one you have? I believe it's the star. Oh, okay, cool. I'll find out when I go home, and maybe I'll report back here. <laughs> uh, cool. So that is uh. That's 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 it. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go? I, I I feel boring now that you've gone. Well, you're dealing with half the shit I'm dealing with. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm obviously Two I'm thirds. I'm the bride, so I have a lot of what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he thought it was him this whole time. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do with this dress, Pauline? <laughs> We're gonna God have damn to, it. Are we going to have to have like a... like a, a Fucking three weeks out, you drop this <laughs> shit on me? <laughs> We're going to have to have a duel on top of the mountain to see who marries Chris. Oh, no. Oh, on top of the what? On top of the mountain. Oh, oh, we're going to climb a mountain. No, no the we're one the, we're getting married we're on. Oh, oh, God. That the, would actually be epic. I mean, I don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I know my pick. You and know what? And just, you know what? I know everybody's been trying, trying to ship... Me with everybody on this goddamn channel, I'm not going to mention who it is. <laughs> I have my pick, and I'm not going to say who it is. Wow. I think, I think you fucking know <laughs> I'm not reveal who, it who is. I want I the mean, winner to be. I would hope be. so, right? I would hope so. Yeah. yeah I was wondering why <laughs> I didn't have one yet. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> there can only, there be, can one. only be one. Yeah. yeah. That's a. 
Oh, that's Outlander, Highlander. right? Highlander. Highlander, that's <laughs> what I meant. Um, Highlander gets so crazy. Yeah, There's like five Highlander movies. <laughs> and in the second one, they're like, actually, the Highlander are alien from this, p- the aliens oh, from this uh, planet. And then everyone. And there ha- can be two? And then everyone <laughs> hated that. And so the third movie, they were like, uh, aliens? No, 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 no. It's the. Uh, it's the immortal thing we were going for in the first movie. Forget about the aliens. So we need to get started on that poly fanfic. Oh, God. Listen, Asheria. I would pay you're you You're not that. the first. Oh, actually, Polly, yeah, she would be the first. You would be the first. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. Um, keep it, keep it, uh, what are the, what are the AO3 ratings? Keep it, uh, 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 uh T. Keep it T, uh, and include everyone on the channel. I oh, said geez. she, I don't mean to assume Asheria's gender. I don't know why I did that. Um, I don't know why you did that either. Um, we do that sometimes. Yeah, we do. We not both just do. with Asheria, but we've done it to other people too. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's it's nothing personal. It's not the way you speak. It's nothing. <laughs> honestly, it might even be the first color I saw your name it pop might up just, as. Yeah, like, it's I just mean maybe there's something. Stuff. It could be the ah sound because like Sarah, uh, no, like lots maybe, of girl names maybe. are ah. Yeah. It's no, it's nothing new. personal at all. Um, and like I do try to keep myself in check with that. That's why I'm making a point to say it now to embarrass myself. <laughs> on a live stream so that I know that that's not okay to do. So, um, anyway, I'm the bride. <laughs> Anthony As will ha- of now, I guess. Anthony will have to settle Anthony. for the best man, I guess. And Asheria, if you do make that, let us. I would love, <laughs> even, even if you take two seconds to think it out, I'd love to, to hear how that fanfic works out. <laughs> it would be really cool if like she wrote down like what happens to the duel on the mountain. Oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> like they? If we get Sorry. famous enough, I'm waiting for the, uh, I, there's a Japanese word for it. I can't remember yeah, what it is. Is that what it is? Well, is it for what? Well, Japanese word for what? For like boys kissing? Yeah. Yeah. That's Anime yaoi. boy kissing. Yeah. That's, fan- y- that's yeah. yaoi. Yeah. I, I, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> and you know what? I'll buy one. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh we yeah. Talking about boys kissing. Uh, <laughs> uh, wedding stuff. I'm trying to get all the um, what's it called? The the vendors together. Make sure I paid them all. Make sure everything's set with them. I have like a, a checklist that I'm trying to get through. Um, so I checked one thing off my list, like the, our marriage license is all set and good. Yeah, you actually did that today. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. It was, just, it was just bothering me. Like I just want to make sure like we don't have to go back to, you know, where we got it from because that's a pain. Um, but I mean, it all ended up working out. Um, I just got to make sure, like, the caterer knows how many people co- are coming, like, the cake people. Yeah, Le- thanks for letting us know, Anthony. You're welcome. Guy's got his <laughs> save the date sitting right here. Yeah. <laughs> Limo people, um, ho- make sure that the, all the hotels are <coughs> good, which they should be, but I just want to double check. Um, work is work is work is work is work is work, <laughs> which it always is. Um, what else? I, I went with you guys to get your tuxes. Uh, fitted, right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I meant to mention that. That was that was cool. It lasted like five minutes, but it, it was very efficient. And I appreciate yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, there was like what, what, did, they, in what here. did they say? So if you have the license, are you already married? No, no. 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 So th- I I thought the same thing. That's a really good question. So we fill out our part of the the license, and then the officiant has to fill out the other part. And I feel like yeah. that and they do that and day of. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then, then they have to email, not they email. They have to they send have to it back. Send it back, and then the city hall says, "I, I guess these two are married." And then we have to go pick it up. Uh, yeah, and then we have to go pick it up. Yeah. So there was drugs in this. <laughs> city hall. So city hall of the city that you get no, married c- in. City hall of like, like we any can, city any hall s- in the state that we yeah. get married. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Which cool, is cool. yeah, that's really convenient. Yeah, which is good. Um, we did. We did end up going after we w- got our marriage license. We ended up going to the. Uh, a card shop with your mom and sister and your dad. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, I actually did make a video. I, I am currently making a video about that. Right. And then we went to this really good sandwich shop, which I totally underestimated. Yeah, um, it was right Rap City. Right next to the card shop, and it was really, really good. Um, what else? Um, See, that's not boring. Yeah. You had a fun week. <laughs> so, um, let me see. We made a lot of money today. Yeah, we did. I mean, like we we jointly did. <laughs> so, um. Oh, we're figuring out furniture. Yeah. So that's um, cool. So, we kind of figured out that we won't have enough space for a dining table, which is okay. But uh, so we're trying to um get a coffee gaming table, which is nice. But there are already a couple options that I'm that we're looking at. Yeah. So I think it should work out. Um. 
Plus, we want to get a, an L-shaped couch. I still want to do like a. We can look into that. We don't have to. What is it? A pullout? Yeah, the uh, futon. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Reference to me. Uh, as well, cause I because I couldn't remember I the word. I was I was looking for you to say it. Yeah, because I, I because I slept on a futon for like what was that like ten years or some shit like that. The whole time I knew you until this bed. Um. Oh, actually, this is even a second bed, isn't it? Yeah, you, uh, out of the goodness of your heart, bought me a bed, and it lasted... Uh, we did the best we could. Yeah, no, it, it 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 lasted. It was just the issue with that one. The issue with the futon was uh, it was uh, sandpaper uh, and, like, pipe, like, pipe, like right. sewage piping. Uh, not really, but, like, that's basically that's what, what it was. That's what it felt like. And then, um... Oh, oh. oh. Hey, that lasted. <laughs> that did, though. Um... And then um, uh, uh, the bed you got me. The issue was it, it was springs, so you s- you hang out on it enough, and the springs start Basically to po- poke out. you know poke at you. Yeah. Uh, so when I finally got some money during that period where I had money, I bought this one. It's made of like shit that will uh, always be really soft coffee. no yeah. matter what. Yeah. yeah. I I actually I had like a little arc of like. We went to New Hampshire. I was sleeping on those beds. I was like, fucking holy shit, finally, an l- actual bed. Leave there, blah, 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 lay, get this bed, start sleeping on this bed, go back to New Hampshire. And now I'm like, oh, this bed kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, just going way back, you had a bit of a denial period with the futon. I remember I was like, I don't want to, like, make him feel a- awkward or uncomfortable. But, like, you were just like, no, no, it's fine. I just... Do like this, <laughs> <laughs> and I stay here all night, and it works. <laughs> and I was like, and, and and eventually, I think we've gotten to the point where this might not have been related. But you're like, I'm just not sleeping well. <laughs> I was like, I've I've got a a query as to why you know as to why I wake up feeling like I didn't get any sleep. Yeah, I was just like. I, um, anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to derail you. It's okay. Um, no, you know, I want a futon just because, like, who knows who will be sleeping over. Like, Absolutely. Our w- friends, and I, I want to have, like, once we're married and stuff, and, like, with your mom's permission, I want to, ho- like, host, like, get-togethers and whatnot. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, like, you know, it remember. sounds like the goal is so to eventually that. have <laughs> D&D down in your house. Exactly. Well, that's, yeah, that's what the table's about yeah. and all that. Um, we can get, like, bean bags and stuff we can store, maybe. Um, no, and then you could get that Snorlax beanbag that that yeah. woman like violently tried to sell us that one time. Oh, where was? Oh, there do you is remember? Th- do you remember there was a physical in-person Think Geek store, and the the workers were very passionate oh, about yes, the yes, products yes, that yes. they had. You know yes. what? You know what I want though. At um, Anime Boston, they had those like giant like. They ha- they weren't chairs. Yeah, but they, they sell like them in the mall. The one like we've we've seen them. The oh. guy sat us in. Is them. it Love Sack? Yeah. Oh, real. I mean, honestly, like if that, it was so comfy, I would buy one of those. What is this thing? They're like. What is this thing? They're like adult bean bags. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And I they see. come in very different colors, many different colors. Um, For the sexy, mature adults. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I meant it like that. <laughs> it, I really oh. came off like that's what I meant. They're not for kids. They're just. <laughs> well, no, no, no. No, they're they're, they're, they're bigger. Th- like when you think of a beanbag, you think of something in a kid's playroom. These are like these are like the professional <laughs> beanbags. That's yeah. what I meant. An NSFW no. <laughs> eighteen. Well, maybe plus the way we use them. XXX no kids allowed <laughs> beanbag. Um, what else? Oh, I actually painted something. In, I, I paint helped paint walls for the first time in my life. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be good at it, but then I ended up being pretty decent at it. So that's exciting. Um. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all I I can say. Cool. All right. And those are all the weeks. <laughs> What'd you do, Anthony? Oh well, th- <laughs> you see, thank you. You almost you, uh, you almost killed me and Mary Chris. Yeah, almost. <laughs> almost. Someday. I don't remember the killing you part. Yeah, but I like, didn't try to. But hey, hey, Asheria, just you know, just throwing <laughs> ideas out there for the fanfic, whatever you want. <laughs> oh my god. That would be drama. That would be exciting. Then she comes back in season two. It would be cool. As a 
vampire? No, you didn't actually pushed her off of a ledge or something. Oh, she, she survives she or something lived. like that. She fell know. she fell directly into Ra's al Ghul's. She fell life directly pit. into a love sack. <laughs> uh, the adult, the adult, and the and the adult love sack NSF note, <laughs> teens allowed. Uh, sponsored by Goop. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> sponsored by Goop uh, was coded in Razal Ghul. If Goop made eternal, just let me fucking talk I'm about Razal Ghul's <laughs> eternal life jacuzzi. Fuck the Lazarus pit. The Lazarus pit. <laughs> 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 it has a real name. It's called the Lazarus pit. It's no big deal. Oliver didn't go in it, but he could have, but he didn't. But now he can't because it's never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Yeah. Nobody, nobody cares about Arrow. Um, <laughs> my week was fine. Um, <coughs> um, uh, just a lot of writing D and D. Our the camp the the campaign that I'm we've so been playing. Excited. Uh, oh, what is that again? Uh, the oh, tenth. Yeah. Yeah, the campaign that we started in September of 2018 is finally concluding. Um. And we're going to continue to play afterwards, but the the we're still going to play in universe, I think. Yes, <coughs> we are. Um, well, yeah, yes. Um, I really want to re-roll, re-roll my character. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You, you'll get the opportunity. I, yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm not the DM. I should stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I, I think I think the general vibe is everyone wants to, but we'll see. If some people want to stay, then I can work that into a story, mm-hmm. no problem. Um, but yeah, I've been slowly. Uh, writing that I gotta pick up the pace. Um, but it, as with any final boss session, it's gonna be a lot of fighting. Um, and once I get to the part of the session where it's just fight after fight after fight, it's gonna be a lot easier to write because it's just gonna be me looking up like right. stuff, like put it, like basically like charting out battles rather than writing dialogue. Ooh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm I'm just I I I hit a. A bump, but I just gotta get over it because uh, I, I don't have much time left. Um, <coughs> you can do it. <coughs> I <coughs> um, I started a Pokemon Nuzlocke, and due to the natures of Nuzlocke, I'm gonna talk about it here because I think it's gonna be over uh, for a while by the next time we do a video game podcast. But I started it. I, I'm doing one. I've never successfully completed a Nuzlocke, but I'm doing it in Gen. I'm doing it in Fire Red, so I'm doing it the first game. In Gen three, um, I'm not that far. I just beat Brock. Uh, I I just got to Mount Moon, and something cool happened. Uh, the first couple routes of Pokemon when you're doing a Nuzlocke, you're there's a couple chances to get some cool Pokemon, but like you're gonna end up with a Caterpie and a Rattata and a and a Pidgey and stuff like that. Um, so I did. I I caught. I started with Bulbasaur. Thank fuck. And then I got a Pidgey. I got a Caterpie. And then instead of a Mankey, I got a Rattata. And then I got a Caterpie. And then I was looking at Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest has five Pokemon. Caterpie, Metapod, Weedle, Kakuna, and Pikachu. Pikachu is only a 5% chance that they'll show up, whereas Caterpie and Weedle are both 40% chance. So what I did was I made sure that I leveled up my Caterpie to level 7 and evolved it into a Metapod before I went into Viridian Forest because that means that I've reduced my chances from two Pokemon to three Pokemon. So I was like, I'm going to get a Weedle. This is not going to work. I got a Pikachu. Awesome. I ran into like six or seven Caterpie, and then I ran into a Pikachu. I was like, that is literally like in my head. I was like, if only this would happen, and then it happened. That's cool. Um, so you win some, you lose some. I didn't catch a Mankey or a Jigglypuff. I got a Spearow, which I'm literally not going to use because it's just Pidgey except shittier. Um but I did catch a Pikachu, so I'm training that up right now. I'm really excited about that. Haven't lost any yet, so um, that that is cool. Um, I have a food story. Yes, I've been dying to hear this food story. <laughs> you guys, you guys are the biggest fans of the food stories. <laughs> I, I absolutely am. I love the food stories. <laughs> so just uh, you know, maybe part of the excitement is I live around here. Yeah. So you <laughs> know. Yeah. Um, okay. So a couple like. Two weeks ago, uh, we went to Popeye's Chicken, Louisiana Chicken, um, and I got a five-piece or whatever. They did not have Black and Ranch, which I know it's petty. I know it's first-world problems, but I've I've complained about this before. Black and Ranch is a, a game changer for me. If I'm, it's their best sauce. It's the only sauce. 
Honey Mustard is a far, far second, and the rest of them I will not give the time of day. I think the the Popeye's barbecue sauce is absolutely terrible. The Black and Ranch really makes the meal for me. I know it's petty. I know I should just be happy that I have food. But um, so they were out of it, and I was like, darn. Well, cut to this week, wanted Popeye's again, and I'm just thinking about how they didn't have Black and Ranch next time. So I was like, okay, I have a plan. <coughs> I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to roll up. I'm in the mood for the sandwich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two sandwiches. That's going to be my whole thing. I'm going to get a drink or a side or whatever. And then when I get to the window, I'm going to be like, "By the way, do you have black ranch?" That way, in my head, it's like if they don't, it's not an issue. If they do, I get to put black ranch on my sandwich, you know? Yeah. So we roll up mm. and I start my order. I say I want sandwiches. They say we are out of sandwiches. I was like, "Okay." So then now I'm like, the plan is completely ruined. So I was just like, do you have black and ranch? And they were like, we, yeah, we have black and ranch. So I was like, okay, I want a five piece, blah, 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 black and ranch. So we drive up. My dad is driving. I don't drive. I think everyone knows this. My dad's driving. We roll up. He, <coughs> the weirdest thing, never seen this before. He made us back up. So we, we roll up. We ask how much money. He says the amount. I give him a 20, you know, expecting change, obviously. Before he gives me the change, he says, you guys have to back up. And we were like, oh, okay. So we backed up like an inch. And we were like, no, no, no. He was like, no, no, no. You have to back up like a lot because we have a timer and we need the timer to reset. So he had us backing up and he was just like, uh, he was just a like. timer for what? Doing this thing. Like, come on, keep backing up. And then he was like, okay, you're good. And then we pulled forward. So I have a theory. Um, and then he gave our, us our change and then everything was fine. And then I get home, uh, my five piece, it had to, to, to 12 pieces in it uh so i guess i really can't complain but did not have black and ranch no there was black and ranch for sure in um, one black and ranch <laughs> no they they gave me three which i was like okay. i don't need three but that's nice and then i opened it as 12 i was like oh well i now i could use a fourth one but <laughs> um it was a lot of chicken they truly do not care how much no fucking chicken they give you which is so which is part of the appeal of popeyes yes yes exactly but then weird shit like this happens so my father and I theorized that, and this is not the first time that this Popeye's location has had corporate come in and be like, hey, y'all, you guys suck. We're going to do stuff about that. We are theorizing that they were taking too long in the drive through so they set up a weight timer, like a, a weight, sense activate, weight sensor activated timer so that corporate can keep tabs on how long each person is waiting in the drive through Oh. And that's what they were oh, resetting. But if you guys are, uh, uh, if you guys are early, I don't see how that could matter. No, because you're adding what, it to the time. What the I think cars. happened was they were sp we pulled up too quick, and they were supposed to hit reset or something. Oh, I see. So, so, the timer so it wasn't looked even s okay. It 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 would appear as though it was still the same order. Oh, yeah. So okay, it, if you okay, if I that gotcha. info got back to corporate, it would be like they took. 12 minutes on this right, one order, right, right, but right, real right. in reality it was two. The timer just didn't reset. That would be really smart of corporate. Um, love that, Popeye. Love that. They didn't say, they said love the. Love, yeah. Love that. I, you know why I said love that? Because of the commercial. Love the Popeye's barbecue sauce, but I don't know if it's different in different places. It it might be. Um, I just, I really, I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce in general, and the, just every time... They put barbecue sauce in by default when you want sauce, and then sometimes they'll actually give you barbecue sauce. You have to be like, no, no, no. They fucking – I wanted other sauce, not this one. But sometimes they're out of the sauce. It's like, all right, I'll just eat the barbecue sauce. I really wanted to taste black and ranch, but okay. I, I'm sure the barbecue sauce is fine. I'm just already not a fan, and then I'm forced to eat it yeah. with my Popeye's chicken, which yeah. it was like, like scientifically made to taste good with black and ranch on it. Um, but you know, I, I am curious, Asheria, what is your take on black and ranch? We know we have a Popeye's fan in the, in the chat now. <laughs> I need to know what you think of black and ranch from Popeye's. Um, I would buy it in the store if they sold black and ranch in, in a store. You'd think that they would, right? My brother, uh, recently before he moved away, he got like, uh, he got a container of 
uh, Parmesan garlic sauce from from uh, BW3. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. And they, they bottle and sell their stuff now. Yeah, yeah, which was clearly what uh, my, my brother did. He said he bought it. I think he said he bought it at the grocery store, um, which which I was like interesting. Um, but that was kind of fill in the void. It was it was I had a bunch of it. Uh, it was it was it was really good to just like have like a premium sauce just like yeah. around in the house. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's my food story. Not much going on over here. Just kind of mentally preparing myself for this L.A. trip. I have like a mm. fleet of dozens of questions that I have to call my boss and just be like, what about this? What about this? I haven't flown since I was a kid, and obviously back then I was with my parents, and they handled most of the stuff. And now it's, like, a situation where, like, it's a flight that I didn't pay for, and, like, because they paid for Did it. Did they and send like you the ticket? To, what happened? Did they send you the ticket? No, I think I have a, a digital, like, in my email type thing. Oh. Um, But I'm not sure. That's one of the questions I have. Um, But I just want to um, – I'm, I'm – I'm I'm just want to make sure that I know exactly where I'm going, like from the airport when I get there, like all the all that stuff. You know, I just want to make sure everything happens uh, and I don't get lost somewhere. No, totally. It's pretty um, easy. Like once I mean, I, I I haven't flown in a while, but then I flew I flew to a New Orleans for my bachelor party. Like it's actually like easier than I thought it was going to be because my one of my best friends, Mona, who's your favorite Who's your biggest fan? Mm-hmm. Um, she's won a lot, like especially during college. So she always like my to biggest fan. <laughs> That's me. That's you. Yeah. Mona doesn't dislike me. <laughs> she just she just no, loves there's just thunder. someone else on the channel that she likes more. Yeah. Unequivocally. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? But she used to fly like a lot, especially during college, because she lived in uh, Maryland before. Before. Mm-hmm. Um. So and now she lives in, lives you know in Massachusetts, but um. She was like showing us like, oh, like, yeah, that's, that's, you just put it right here and do this and do this and this. Make sure you don't have this in your suitcase because they won't let you have it. Like yeah. cocaine. Well, well like, see, that's what I think I'm missing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's making me feel a little better that you're saying it was easier than you thought it would be. But I do mm-hmm. wish I had someone there with me. Like I'm gonna get to the airport by myself essentially, and then I'm gonna get on the plane by myself, right. get off the plane by yeah. myself. What do you Uber packing? to the hotel? By myself, what? Are you packing like any like like liquids or anything like that? Any like like just ju- I would assume like just clothes and your your wallet and guns. yeah yeah I think uh, <laughs> gu- you say guns <laughs> yeah all my guns <laughs> no. uh, make room for my clothes uh, <laughs> you know form them around the guns so they don't go <laughs> off in the um, yeah no I was just gonna do clothes. I was going to bring my Switch, but I'll probably bring that in a carry-on so I can play it on yeah. the plane because so I have a six-and-a-half-hour flight so ahead of me. So you can have one personal item and one carry-on. The carry-on you just actually stow, like, away. Yeah. Like, up, you know, into the the overhead. Yeah. Um. I see. So you're saying that even the, the Switch shouldn't even go in the carry-on. I, I should just hold it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, They're going to have you, like, when you're in TSA, they're, they're going to have you, like, just put it into, like, one of the trays so that they can monitor if, like, you're... Like okay. hiding something in it. Yeah, that's happened I mean, before. I'm sure. S- I'm sure bringing a switch on a plane is yeah, fine. It does fine. have a lithium battery in it. Yeah, but I'm sure they fine. know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> that that's in the game consoles um, and stuff. They literally. There's a dude in a plane playing Skyrim yeah. on the uh, in the trailer. Actually, I brought my I brought my switch to New Orleans because I thought we were gonna play it, but like I put it in my backpack and they just had me like. Open up the backpack and then like open up the case that the switch was in and put the s- actual switch into the the tray. So I I just wanna <laughs> that commercial is hilarious because this fucker he pulls down the thing, mm-hmm. opens the thing, puts his switch on the thing, detaches the Joy Cons, and then he plays Skyrim like this. <laughs> I want to meet the guy who's like, no, this is the optimal way to play Skyrim. I don't care who I'm like <laughs> what I'm doing. Even if it's a transcontinental flight. Asuria <laughs> says, I don't like ranch that much, but the black and ranch was pretty good. Good. Okay, I'll take that, especially from somebody who doesn't like ranch. Yeah, it doesn't oh, yeah. taste like ranch. I was just going to say, to me, I don't even put it in the ranch family. I know it is ranch, <laughs> but like it it doesn't taste like ranch. Ranch has a very distinct, like, yes, this is ranch. Right. I am having ranch with my meal. My meal is a ranch meal now. Black and ranch is different. I feel like it's a little less... Whole different animal. I feel like it's a little less... In your face, and I feel like it's it's much more of a... One like could say a, a little less ranch. 
I, it, honestly, it's a little less ranch, and I feel like it's way more of like a flavor additive rather than like you dip something in ranch. It just tastes like ranch. Right, right. Um, yeah, so but yeah, no, that's honestly uh, like it, like as long as you don't bring any anything liquid, like like I would just I I mean I honestly did th- th- this like I didn't bring any like water bottles or like yeah anything like that. They have you like dump the li- actual liquid into like a a container before you pass through TSA. Um, so and then you just buy like your snacks and whatnot and your um drinks like in the actual on the yeah either on the plane or like they have like little shops like around the um near the n- near the gates that you can buy stuff from yeah um yeah so you'll be fine yeah yeah so i'm leaving at 10 and it's a six hour flight which means i'll probably get there at what like one with the time thing yeah yeah i think so oh make sure you get to the airport like super duper yeah. early because yeah they said two flight. hours on yeah. the on the email exactly yeah so i'm gonna get there are you um, going with a group of group, group of people no just by yourself that, that's what i'm saying uh. I'm, I'm i i wish i had someone like mona there to be like oh now you go yeah um ask her Hey, <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Not gonna even pretend. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that's uh, that's me. I'm trying to think of anything else happened. I mean, uh, lots of TV. Obi Wan ended. Mm-hmm. If you want uh, to hear our thoughts about that, uh, we uh, did a podcast about that on Monday. Um, and if you're listening to this live, we just <laughs> did the podcast too, and you've already heard it. Um. Uh, I'm liking Miss Marvel. I think episode three was my least favorite yet. A lot of nothing happened in that episode, so I'm I'm waiting kind of for it to get like really good. Yeah. And I'm 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 curious to see if any what cameos show up. Like I I have a feeling the end credits scene after the credit scene of the final episode is going to be her meeting uh, Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. But maybe I'm dreaming too. That'd big. be cool. Um, haven't seen Umbrella Academy yet. I know I'm like the world's biggest fan of it. Probably gonna be like after the wedding at this I point. I haven't that started I watched it either that. yet. So you okay? I was confused. I I couldn't remember. You do watch Umbrella Academy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But so you also haven't watched season three yet. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I'm with the LA trip and everything. I'm probably not even gonna have time to do that until after the wedding at this point. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Sherry says if you like fried chicken and our and are traveling though, you've got to try Bojangles. Oh, I've never had right. that. I've I've heard of it. I've heard it's very You've good. You've heard the tale of Bojangles? I've heard the yeah, the jingle of Bojangles. <laughs> um if there's Bojangles in LA day 1, day 1, day 1. Um what, let me know how it is. When you when we, the three of us and uh, little L Lightning went to Boston Comic Con last year, we used Uber Eats to order Shake Shack. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was not impressed. <laughs> Uh, the it's food was. Okay. I remember it was okay. The food was okay. The shake was terrible. I really? hated my shake. Yeah, it was. It was. I really didn't get one. I didn't get one either. Which you know, it's just well, like we, we're you know trying to die. Right. No. 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 I that wasn't what I was. I'm just saying like the place is called Shake Shack. Right. You'd think the shake would be the oh, best. Oh yeah, part. absolutely. Like I I fully expected to be like to be come out the other end of that being like the food was bland, but the shake. At Shake right, Shack was right. really good, but like the shake, I hated it. Mm. Wow, um, and the food was just like, if 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 someone at this year's Comic Con is like Shake Shack again, I'm gonna be like, no, <laughs> somewhere else, please. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, we, we went to this ramen. Pl- I think we could we did Wagamama like delivered, and that was really that was good. good. I yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It Wagamama. was tough to eat. Yeah, yeah. You got like ramen and stuff, but, but it, I mean, it was okay. <laughs> yeah. I got a, I got, we, we got the same hotel as last year, so it should be easy. Cool. So. Wait, we did? I think so. I just, I thought we didn't. I That'd be kick ass if we got I the same got hotel. W- it's the Westin. No, do it later. Do it later. I do it later. Double check. Yeah, double I'll, check later. I'll double check later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the Westin, the one that's connected to the, uh, to the Heinz. Yeah. No, yeah. no, sorry. Not the Heinz. BCEC. Yeah, I, I right. booked, is connected I booked to it through BCEC. the Boston Comic Con website, so it should be all set. Oh, then, yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't send you to the Westin in that case. Yeah, cool. Mm. Um, all right, news? Question mark? Uh, yeah, you didn't send me a lot. Well, I'm banking on her for the oh news over here. Hold on. Every, everybody just hold on. I mean, something kind of big happened today while we were out and about. Oh, yeah. And that is that the Supreme Court overturned Roe yeah. versus Wade. Yeah, uh, not which, great. uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, we're fucking doing. I don't know why uh, 
that was even a question like of if we should overturn this or not. Right. Didn't know that could just happen. Didn't know you could just be like, Apparently, oh, this 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 court case that like made a new law. Yeah. Apparently, it's the first mind. time that Congress has taken away a constitutional right. So awesome. <laughs> Cool, um, just regress further in history. But I did, I did read that Charlie Baker is making sure that abortions in Massachusetts are still like, you know, a thing. Okay, which is good. <laughs> I mean, does d- he has that authority? I think so. I think it's by. Is that what it is now? It's up to by state again. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So. I, okay. I guess so hopefully we're, it's we're not the quite end of the world. In yeah. The, yeah, on that not, front. yeah, but the southern states are kind of screwed. Well, yeah, that yeah, stay away from. Uh, Mississippi, Alabama, yeah. Florida. Don't go down past Maryland, <laughs> like in the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my God! Anyway. Yeah, uh, uh, Hypno Crown, and I'm pretty sure Surya. Uh, I think both of you are uh, from a different country. Our country is regressing in history. <laughs> yeah. Um, right before our eyes, and like the fucking restaurant we went to today had news on in the background, and the news was just like. It, it, this is not how they worded it or w- what it was, but it was basically like ex Vice President Pence gives Roe versus Wade decision a big thumbs up, and it's like that oh, should no. be a red flag. That yeah. guy fucking sucked. Yeah. <laughs> so he's also I, a giant homophobe, so that's not. Gr- yeah, good that guy either. fucking sucks for <laughs> many reasons, <laughs> and it's like a no shit. He supports the the uh th- this. I, I don't know. I read somewhere like a comment that it was like. America is slowly becoming the setting for The Handmaid's Tale, and I'm like, oh gosh, slowly. Never read true. or watched, it's but basi- I, I know, yeah, I know of it. Like women are walking uteruses, and their only job is to make babies for people in power. And I'm assuming the story is from the perspective of like a rebellion of women uh, being like, this is not okay. Let's not, not particularly. It's like. It's basically, I mean, the the perspective is from a, a woman who's actually a handmaid, so like mm. her, she's being essentially raped, like, well, how how do I put it, like, systematically raped, yeah, in order to produce babies, and it's from her perspective, but like, it doesn't like really end like like we're taking over this country and blah blah blah. It kind of ends with like a like ambiguous note. Oh, okay. I think there w- there's a sequel to it, but I haven't read it. Yeah, I was going to say him and he tells one book and it's yeah. like it spawned like four seasons of right. television, right? I I haven't read the the book yet either, but I, I did read like a summary of it on Wikipedia, <laughs> but I do want to actually read it, read it. So, yeah, it's it's we're we're slowly becoming the setting for Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, no, that's yeah. So, yeah. I think that's it. Is that news. it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have the Avatar one, right? Avatar. One. Oh yeah, they're making like three new. Is that what it yeah, is? They I confirm did. like three new oh, Avatar you didn't movies send that for Netflix. Yes, I did. You skipped it last week. Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. They're, sorry. They they um re- revealed the director for the first movie, and it's one of the I can't remember her name, but like she directed. She she actually worked on the original series. So wait, so good. are they still doing the TV show, or has it turned into these movies? I think it's turned in, into the movies. Oh, okay. I don't know if like they're going to do another TV show. That would be great if they that do. Was, that's what the plan was, right? It was like live-action TV series from oh. Netflix. I think they still are doing the, the live-action one, but like this is a whole other studio. So oh, it's wait, are, sorry. Are these movies animated? I think so. Oh, that I is think so. okay. I just heard Netflix Avatar, and I was like, "Oh, more live action stuff." No, so this is so the creators of Avatar actually made their their own studio, which is called like Avatar Studios. Right, I think. right. So they're yeah. they're the ones who are making the um, animated movies. I think they're animated. I don't know. Interesting. I actually did have one more bit of news. Okay, Alexa can talk to. Sorry, Alexa can talk to you in your dead relative's voice. Why? <laughs> Don't do that, Alexa. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Don't do that to me. <laughs> um, there's a gay kiss in Lightyear, and the d- internet is aflame because oh of yeah. it. Oh. They're like, they, 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 ban, they ban it in like Muslim countries. I mean, that <laughs> tracks, but like, I, I don't understand. There was, it's just like, and the Lightyear is not doing good in theaters. I don't know mm. if it's because of the lesbian kiss or not, but, um, People were like, the, the your d- basic, you know, the complaints that they always have about, like, kids in 
if yeah. you, if you're exposed it's like to when whatever. Onward, it's like when Onward, like, that, that one line, like, oh, yeah, me and my girlfriend, I'm like, it's not anything big. There, there right. wasn't even a kiss in there, and, like, they were still, like, freaking out. Um, <laughs> um, but Chris Evans, voice of Buzz Lightyear, because fuck Tim Allen for real, though, um, <laughs> basically p- put out a statement that was just like, come on. Like, really? <laughs> Yeah, he, he 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 you know, he worded it well, but the 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 basic gist I got from it was like, "Come on." Yeah. What the fucking what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Oh, hey, Knives Out 2 got a like a oh, new title. Did you hear about this? No. It's called the um Oh fuck. I was it's called like the Golden Onion or something like that. Hold on. <laughs> let me let Oh. Me, let me look it up real quick. Real quick. Knives Out 2 is called Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. Oh, oh. wow. So it looks like they're going to do that going forward. Because I think Netflix bought like three or maybe even four more Knives Out really? movies. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, Net- Netflix is like all in on supporting more Knives Out, which is great. Yeah. yeah. I-, I-, I like what he's doing. He's doing like an alt-world, modern-day Agatha Christie I like that. type thing. Yeah. Like Hercule Poirot type. Yeah. I love it, and I love that it's running concurrently with mm-hmm. those incredible Agatha Christie movies yeah. that oh, Kenneth yeah. Branagh yeah. is making, yep. and they can both exist. I feel like this genre is back yep. in like a major way, and it was kind of been absent for like quite a few years. There was obviously a couple here and there, but yeah, I'm I'm glad that people are like so down for like this type of movie, and I love what Knives Out did. Mm. Same, uh, and I'm um, I'm looking forward to 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 more of that. We should probably get a trailer for that like very soon. Mm. So I'm excited for that. That'd yeah. be cool. That'd be I don't cool. know when Spider Head comes out, but probably around the time that releases, we'll get a trailer for Knives Out too. Cool. cool. Um, okay. Do we? So here's the deal. We've been streaming for two hours. We didn't do a goop. It's seven thirty because we started late. Do we want to just call it? Can we? Could we? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll do goop next time. But um, listen, everybody who watched, thank you so much. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you to uh, anyone who watched, but special thanks to everyone who chatted, uh, Hypno Crown, Asuria, and my dad. Um, uh, thank you to anyone who watched the YouTube video version of this. Um, oh, uh, allow me to do this real quick. Can you maybe... Uh, Oh, absolutely. Um, so Thunder is putting in all the links to all the things that we do. You can check us out on YouTube. You can check us out on Patreon. And you can check out everybody who's helped make this channel what it is today. I did it um, out of order this time. So the first two are the important ones, the YouTube channel and the Patreon. And then we got everything else down below. Hypno um, Crown is streaming. Uh, we should um, oh, rate Oh, let's him. do that. Let's raid him. Let's raid that crown. Raid the crown. Raid the crown. I can do it from here. Do I have to put the at? I always forget. This might not work. Oh, enter. Invalid. Okay, so I have to not do the at. Okay, hold on. Raid the crown. Raid the crown. Hypno crown. It's not not like hypno crown one, right? It's just hypno crown? I think so. I think so. Raid has been created. Hey, hey, there we go. Nice. Uh, we're gonna raid Hypno Crown. Um, he's great, big supporter of this channel. Uh, fellow uh, streamer on his way, well on his way to uh, reaching affiliate. So if you could help him out with that, uh, the way that he helped us out with that, uh, that would be superb. Uh, like a superb, not superb. I don't know why I always <laughs> say that. Like I was saying, thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone who. Uh, contributed in chat thank you to everyone who didn't thank you to everyone who just watched um the next stream will be a kingdom hearts chain of Memories stream uh probably the end of the sora campaign and that'll be two days from now sunday five to seven eastern standard time uh be there or d- don't or if you d- don't have to because <laughs> it might we actually might have to start a little later <laughs> sunday because i have a nine hour class sunday what yeah okay that's okay <laughs> Uh, oh, it's bullshit. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that sucks. That's a lot. Um, okay, um, so uh, thank you for everything. This stream was great. Uh, 
Until next time, I've been Thunder. I'm Lightning. I'm Monster. And we'll and we'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Our channel is daily uploads from podcast video essays, let's plays to skip. Be sure to watch on Twitch. We stream all our video game and podcast content live at 5 EST every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Our intro is by Brad Kendrick and music by Froggy and the Friendship. Link to all that in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.